Alphabet rolling out some big announcements today. This is my favorite. Waymo is coming to Washington, D.C. They also unveiled Gemini, and that's exciting, too, let's be honest. But Deirdre Bosa has all the news in Tech Check. I will be on the first train or something down there, Deirdre, to try this out when it comes. <laughs> I know, and Kelly, need to. It'll come to you sooner than you think. But the bottom line here is one day, two major releases, and some of the most emerging technologies that are the most exciting. Um, the new AI model, Gemini 2.5, that is a response to OpenAI's GPT 4.5, released about a month ago, and Anthropic's Claude 3.75 Sonnet. Waymo in D.C., that's as strategic as it is geographical. Waymo's expansion to D.C., that brings the fleet beyond the Sun Belt and into, you know, more unpredictable snow there. And while it seems these moves seem incremental. They do serve a bigger purpose. They're helping build a new narrative for Google at large, that it can be aggressive, that it can ship products, and that it can drive adoption at a time when Wall Street is skeptical after it lost its edge in AI. Um, now, Gemini 2.5, it's a reminder that Google is a leader in AI model building, despite getting little credit from Wall Street. And keep in mind that this Waymo announcement, yes, it brings it past the Sun Belt, but it also puts it right in front of federal policymakers that are determining regulations for the industry. It also puts Waymo right in front of one of its biggest competitors, Elon Musk, who is spending more time in D.C. and, of course, wants to develop his own robotaxi fleet. Gemini 2.5, I will certainly be trying out uh, as par part of our suite of AI chatbots. We're calling um, ChatGPT Chad at this point in order to differentiate one to the other. So that's where we've arrived uh, in this innovation. Deirdre, thank you very much, Deirdre Bosa.